Good evening, everybody. Now it's just telling me I've started a live video, which is a good sign. At least I'm on. So tonight we've got Sean Ambrose. You will know his face as soon as you see him. And Sean is just having the worst time. Please don't send me a request to come on the live. You can't. This is for Sean. So please don't send me requests because if you do, then I can't add Sean. So if ever you want to do a live with me, just send me a message first and, and you know, we'll do it. Um, but tonight, this is for Sean. Hello, Pam. Hello, Cliff. Hello, Michelle. Hello, Denise. Hello, Abby. Hello, Joe. Hello. Oh, this is looking good. So I know that um, Sean has been talking about it earlier on and um, he's just got a message to say that we've come on. And it's so sad doing these in a way because, you know, we do these, tool girl, I like that username. Hello, Amanda. We do these because these guys are having problems. Hi, Sunderland. Say, she never lets me down. And Raquel. Baking squad. Oh, you sound good. Um, yeah, we do these because... These guys are having problems. Now, I want to show you... Hi, Sophie. Um, I want to show you um, what these guys are like when they're just talking. You know, when... Because... Hello, Shell. Um, and... Oh, there he is. Send me a request, Sean. Um... Please, please, please don't send me a request if you're not Sean to uh, to join the live chat because if you do, I get problems. I have to come out and I have to start again. Sean, I've sent you a go live thing. And I hope it's going to work. Because I've never done it like this before. Hi! Hey, how are you? I'm impressed with that because I did it different. How are you? I'm good, how are you? Probably better than you because you are having so many problems. <laughs> yeah, I'm just used to it by now. So tell me, how, how long have you known about it? You know, when did you first realise? It's gone on for about eight years now mm -hmm. or so. Because people are always surprised at that, you know? Because mm -hmm. I think people think scamming's quite a, a new thing. Uh, to some people, yeah, it is. But yeah, I, I've been going. I, I've been dealing with it for about eight years now. So, um, you're obviously not in Syria. No, no, I'm not Syria. No. And you know the thing that bothers me that when you're talking, um, is the amount of contact that you get. Yeah, I get contacted by dozens of people every day. And not only you. Yeah, my wife, my job. Yeah, it goes on. You see, I, I don't understand that. Um, and I really don't. I don't understand why, if you've been the victim of a scam, um, A, you should think to contact you. Because why would you? And then to yeah. contact your work. I guess they feel that threatened or hurt that they need to go after me at my job. I don't know. Yeah, but it doesn't make sense, Sean. I mean, it really doesn't, because you must be pretty stupid if you're the one that's scamming, mustn't you? I mean, you know, to just just let's put this into real life. Mm -hmm. If you decide that you're the one that's going to scam with your pictures, you've got to be pretty stupid because you're going to be arrested in a day. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, because they are reporting you. So let's get back to, to basics. The reason I like to do these is... Um, because all commenting. Yeah, it's all right. <laughs> I've, got, I've got security on the door. Um, <laughs> so if you want jacuzzi autos, who wants a jacuzzi in the auto? Um, nobody's, well, he hasn't scammed you. And I, I'm not really in the mood for not very nice people. Um, yeah, some yeah. people get yeah, some. we've got Sophie on. She's, she's security. Um, yeah, so let's, as I say, let's go back to the basics. <laughs> Um, when somebody is um, contacted by a scammer, they um, they get the 
gone to a chat up. Have you ever been on Hangouts? No. Mm -mm. Do you know what Hangouts is? I just know it's an app. I don't really know what it's used for. They, none of you ever do. Yeah. And, and okay, Sean, um, I can't see you at the end of every sentence calling anybody honey. <laughs> no, no, no. Okay. I don't call okay. anyone. You know, um, because this is this is a very big striking thing of scammers. They go there, they get in everybody there, so they don't need to remember the name. So they got babe and honey. And the reason that I wanted to um, to do to start doing live chats a long time ago was was because basically, you know, it's a way that if somebody says to me that you've been they've been talking to you. We can show you. And this is how you talk. Mm. And you haven't got a Nigerian accent. No, no, I don't. <laughs> have you seen those? Have you, have, you, have you seen the voice? I mean, not, I haven't seen the voiceover for you, but... You know, yeah, I've seen, seen the voiceovers? A, yeah, they, they, they screen record my videos and then they... Yeah. The voiceover. <laughs> so. Yeah, and the thing, you know, that, that gets me is, is women will say to us, but I know it was him, I saw him move. You know, they're playing them a video. So, so they put a video on the laptop. Yeah. Point, point the phone at it. And, uh, oh, it's a bad reception. I can only get two seconds. And then, you know, the woman says, oh, I know it was him. I know it was him. Because I saw him move. This is a video chat. Yeah. You know, where I can say something, where you can say something. You know, um... And I just think it shouldn't. What What do people say to you? Do you get a, obviously you do get accused? Do you are you told not to put your pictures up on on Instagram? Yeah, people. Uh, I mean, usually most messages people are just saying, "Hey, just so you're aware, people have been using your photos and yeah. your information." They're usually pretty nice about it, just kind of like let me know, and I tell them, "Hey, I'm I'm fully aware. If you could just report the profile, do me a favor, you know." Um, and then sometimes, yeah, some people get a little hostile, and they like truly yeah. do not believe um that that you know that it's not me and they're like they don't seem to understand that in the 21st century you can take screenshots and download people's photos and then upload them and say that it's you and they they're truly they believe that it is actually me so you know i, I tell them so many times before it starts to get annoying and I'm, I'm on my phone 24 7 so you know i try to be as polite as i can but all of you or every one of you that i've ever spoken to um you know some I've spoken to from like the beginning of when they've known they've been scammed and they're mm -hmm. so polite they are so polite they, they they are doing video chats with people they are saying oh you know I'm very sorry this happened to you and then it gets to the stage where do not contact me anymore <laughs> you know I can't do and you can't I don't think you should talk to anybody Sean I don't think you should be required to talk to anybody because the scam is between the victim and the Nigerian and that's an awful harsh way to say it but it is yeah. You haven't had any part of it, so why should you have a part of it? Bad. That's why I do probably respond to a lot of people. Is I, I do feel bad that they were a victim, um, and, and partially because they were using my pictures. So I think that's why I try to respond to as many people as I can about it. Um, but the minute they start getting hostile or they just cannot seem to comprehend with the fact that it's not true or whatever because they were so deeply emotionally attached or whatever, then... Um, then I have to just disconnect myself and say, okay, well, I apologize. I tried telling you and I leave it. Well, you have to, because they can't bring you down. You know, they can't, uh, they can't bring you into this and bring you down because as I say, you haven't had a part in it. I mean, if anybody has any fakes of you, give them to us. Because yeah. Sean brings them to us. So, mm -hmm. you know, we, we can get them removed. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, I know they just make others, you know, I'm, I'm not stupid enough to think that, you know, we might get 10 down today and there's not 15 there tomorrow. Yeah. But if you work on a system of they make them, we take them, at least it's it's challenging them, yeah. you know. So um, let's get this about, you're obviously serving military. Let's get this thing about um, deployment. I don't need to know what state you're in, but where yeah. are you? Mama, what country are you in at the moment? I'm in America. I'm in Missouri. So, yeah. Uh, yeah. Because, you know, I, I like to be able to say that because, as I joked at the beginning, you're either in Syria. Thankfully, you can't be in Afghanistan anymore. Yeah. Um, 
we are getting the Afghanistan though. We are getting the secret missions in Afghanistan, which I always love. Um, but it's nice to be able to say, look, he's not. Um, you are married. Mm -hmm. Yep, 10 years. Very happily married. And, and yep. she's, you know, lovely lady. You are not looking for anybody else. Nope, nope. Um, let me get this over and done with. You're not looking for an older woman. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> I, I, I sort of reserve the right to say that because, you know, yeah. some people get very upset about it and, and say, well, you know, older women. But, you know, we do get contacted and we do get targeted. Oh, and yeah. I always say to people, you know, well, it's very flattering, but, you know, a guy like him is not looking for a woman like me. And let's let's have, Sean, let's have, online life being reflecting um real life because age is not just a number yeah. you know um it, it is real life and we can think about it um and and so it's sort of you know it's hard to say well you know sorry at your age is not going to be looking for somebody that that young um what else do i usually ask yes um what what accounts do you have? What are you on TikTok? Yeah, but I just mainly watch the videos. I, I don't really. I'm not like a big poster or anything like that. Um, I, I don't. Just, don't. Sure. Um, but it's under the same name, Chief Underscore Pinkness. Yeah. yeah. I love that name. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I really do. It is so um, opposite to you that I can not think of one day. <laughs> tell me why it is but not publicly um yeah and of course you've written a book i have yeah mm -hmm. which is you know which, which is available which is i'm going to well I'm, i want to order it but i want a hardback i don't want the uh, kindle version mm -hmm. um, but you know you've so you're out there you know you've wrote a book you've written a book sorry you've um you've got to be public because of what you do online that's what i'm trying to say yeah mm -hmm. that it's no good putting you as as um private yeah yeah because when i do that you know i like to help out a lot of veterans and when i private my page um, i shut a lot of people out and um you know I'm, i want to be there for them so I, I keep a lot of my things public as far as instagram facebook is mainly for people i've served with close family i try to keep that smaller so yeah, and I mean, you know, this is the thing people will say all the time. We get it often. Well, put his, put his Instagram on, on private and then they can't pinch. You know, they can't take the pictures. Well, you can pull my name and you'll still pull pictures, so. I mean, to me, it's 2021. Um, you should be able to do what you want. You can't put it on private just because some Nigerians come along and steal you. Yeah. You know, so it, it's, it's not an option. It's not an option to me. And why should you, really? Yeah. I told him when I was talking to him, I was going to watch a live with the real Sean. Well, I hope, Don, that he's watching too. Um, uh, not at the moment, Jacuzzi Autos. At some other time, you can with me. Um, and we'll talk. And actually, you actually should talk to Pam afterwards. So she's, she's the best one. Um, now, an ridiculous anomaly you are verified on facebook i'm sorry say it again you are verified on facebook yep yeah 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 i've been trying to get verified on instagram for some time but um i guess they're they have just a, a few different rules or regulations on on what that means uh you know is what it is because i haven't had any issues on facebook it's instagram that I have all the issues yes and Instagram, where you need the verification. Yeah. Um, yeah. And I mean, you know, I work with Instagram and Facebook. Mm -hmm. They know me extremely well. On my Facebook account, I have a form where, where I put all the things that you, you send and everybody sends. Yeah, I yeah. have a form, I put those in. That form goes in to Facebook and Instagram systems. And mm -hmm. you know what? They won't verify us. Mm hmm how do you work that out? You know, how do they work out who they're going to verify us when they deal with me? You yeah. Know, it, it's, it's just, uh, well, I don't know. 
they could help people so much, don't you think? Yeah. They they could really, you know, sort of, they could really help people. But anyway, what I want to do is just, um, Joe, can you watch Olua, please? Because I know what that means. Um, yeah, so just tell us, just tell us again um, what it feels like really to be used. Um, I, don't know, I guess I'm a little numb to it um, now because, like I said, I've been dealing with it for, I think, the very first, the very, very, very first scammer. I was in Colorado. It was like 2012, um, and I got contacted by a lady in Oklahoma. That was my very first scammer. Um, I want to say Facebook was somewhat newish at the time or you know, going on maybe a couple of years, and I got contacted by this lady. And she was telling me, you know, the typical, I had cancer and she had sent $2,000 and um, my wife had died and this and that. And so I, she had like had to call me to actually hear my voice. And um, and that was like the first, and then it kind of domino affected and it's gotten worse over the years. Yeah. So um, first it was kind of just frustrating. Every day I'm blocking God knows how many people from Nigeria because you could tell that they're following me for the reasons and then. Uh, answering dozens of messages and it gets a little overwhelming sometimes but I guess I'm just so numb to it by now I think what um what gets me watching them on on Instagram because I know the watchers the watchers all the time Pam and I who do you know the weekend I chats we've got a little bit of a, a joke going with them because every time we suggest something we then watch their Yahoo boy accounts because they're making photoshop pictures to combat what me and Pam tell people to do so I mean it we quite enjoy that we we sort of, you know, thinking up something for the next week we can tease them with. Um, but I just think it's... Um, okay, I'm going to say this, and sometimes it's taken the wrong way. Not by yourself. Um, when you have a scam, you have... I'm going to say Nigerian, they're African. Yeah. Whether they, you know, if they don't like it... Oh, thanks, Joe. Um, if they don't like it, I'm sorry. I know too much. I know where 98% of them come from. If they come from somewhere else, well, they've left Nigeria and gone somewhere else and they're still scanning. So I'm sorry if I upset people, but, you know, I've done too much. Um, but to me, this, you know, they, 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 they take your pictures. Now, you do not have a choice that they've taken your pictures. No. They, they've come, they've literally raided your life and taken your pictures. Now, you don't have a choice of that. Now, I know why they're accepted. I know how they're accepted. I know the theories behind they're accepted. But a victim has the choice to accept. The victim has the choice to keep going with the scam and send the money. Yeah. Um, you don't have that choice. And I think that's the big difference in, in this situation. Um you do not have a choice to, 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 you know, to be a part of this. So, you know, just all I want to do, ladies, is this is Sean. Now, we've had to sadly restrict the lady who thought she'd been talking to you for two years. Um, we'll yeah. talk to her. We'll, we'll talk to her later. Um, yeah. we'll, we'll, we'll sort her out. I'm not, I'm not blocking. I'm not, you know, I'm not getting her out the way. We will, we will talk to her properly later. Um, because we get a lot of people who never believe us that it's it's not you. But, you know, a proper video call with the scammer would sort it out once and for all. Yeah. You know, before we go, um, what? give them a message. Give them a message from you, you as the person who is shown. Yeah, I mean, I apologize if anyone has been a victim to, you know, to this, to my pictures or, um, you know, hopefully you, none of you have sent any money to anybody. Uh, but like I said, I have one Instagram. I don't have multiple Instagrams. I have, you know, I have one that, for my book um, and I have my own personal one, uh, which is chief underscore pink miss. That's my only one that I'll ever have. Um, you know, I, I, like I said, I don't mind answering people, uh, that have been victims if they need answers but the minute that it gets to be too overwhelming or they are just not understanding um 
you know, I provided screenshots and proof. And if people are still, it's not enough for them, then, you know, then I have to part ways. I just don't have time to do have the same conversation every day, day in, day out with, with multiple people across the world. So, um, but like I said, I am willing because you have been a victim uh, to try to help um, hopefully close that gap and give you that. Uh, we're looking for just uh, give you that closure. They want closure. Yeah. So I, hopefully I can provide that closure um, yeah. and to not get hostile or anything like that. But, you know, please, uh, if you find yourself in these situations, you got to video call these guys and make sure that they're real, that they, who they say they are before you start sending finances and, and all this other stuff, get too attached. You need to confirm who's who. Um, if you know. you would, John, if you were deployed somewhere mm -hmm. and, um, and, and, you know, you wanted to video call your wife. Mm -hmm. Are you able to do that? Oh yeah, yeah. I mean, I was I, I was in Afghanistan when, you know, the fighting was was heavy, and uh, we still had the capabilities and the luxuries of having webcams, and um, you know, we even would buy phones from the Afghani's little little cell phones with prepaid minutes that I would be able to call home. So there there are ways. Uh, when, start coming up with excuses that they can't video call or phone call um you know then that should start throwing you some red flags yeah and, and i mean you know ladies if you get red flags do not ignore them because i wish i had a dollar for everybody that said to me oh i saw the red flags but he looked nice so you know i ignored them do not ignore them simple simple yeah. um yeah so um just helps me if it helps me if I have a set of questions that I can say to people look because you know they say to me how do you know because I ask you but if yeah. you tell me, then you know so so when you're deployed anywhere in the world absolutely anywhere in the world mm -hmm. when you're deployed you get paid you get paid pretty good but you get paid you get paid oh. into your account exactly as if you were at home just more yeah, you actually, you know, if the, if any of these military guys, the, everyone's situation is different. I'm sure there's onesies, twosies, but um, for the most part, military dudes who are deployed, you know, away from their families, or even if they're single and they're away, uh, you know, they get paid their base pay. They, you know, depending on where they're deployed at, they get overseas pay, hazard duty pay, combat pay. They get enough money. No military dude should be out there, you know, asking random people for money. You know, if they want to set up a GoFundMe that way, then, you know, that's a legit way of doing it. But sending money directly to people is not something that most military dudes would be asking for. So um, my I'll... son's in the Navy. And I mean, it's exactly the same in our Navy, in our military, you know, um, he goes away quite often. Um, he, okay, he's in a submarine, so he can't do a lot of video chat. Um, but you know, the idea that scammers say to women, when I'm deployed, or when I'm away anywhere, I do not get paid. I don't understand how anybody could accept that. Because uh, you know, you wouldn't work for them if they didn't pay you when you were away. Yeah. And roughly, if you were deployed, how long would that would, would that last? Well, Army deployment, you know, U.S. Army deployments are a little bit different. They used to be 15, 12 months, and now they've gone down to nine months. Yeah. Uh, but it's not three years or anything like that. No. Oh no 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 no! That's a that's a duty station. If you're if you're gone for two to three, years, you're permanently stationed. Yeah, I mean I've, I've known sort of Marines do that in embassies and things like that. Yeah, yeah. But but not actually, you know, going to Afghanistan or Syria no. or, or anything like that. So that's all I need to know because, um, you know, scammers have a script. They have a script, and thankfully for us, they have a script. Um, because we can say to them, well, he's, he's going to have told you this, he's going to have told you this, you know. But if you then echo that you can, you do get paid, you can make video calls, then, you know, who are they going to, who, who they going to um, believe, the scammer or you? And I see somebody commented that they, it's not that they don't get paid, it's that they don't have access to their accounts. Yeah. They have access to their accounts. I, I could, we, like I said, in the mountains of Afghanistan where there was heavy combat, we had a room full of computers. I could log into my bank information, right? There. Like, we have the assets. This is, we're talking United States military, 21st century. Like, we have the that dudes can get on. And um, the army is not going to leave 
uh, or the military in general, Navy, Marines, doesn't matter what it is. Our, our U.S. military is not going to leave our soldiers hanging to where they, they can't handle personal situations back home when they're away for X amount of time. So, um, yeah, our, our guys have full access to their information. Hello, Pauline. It's my, my lady from Hawaii. She makes me very jealous because the word is, is not great. Um, <laughs> I loved it. Yeah, I loved it. it just looks just so beautiful. And I'm in the northeast of England, and it's about as diametrically opposite to Hawaii as you could possibly think. Yeah. yeah. Um, but yeah, the idea that you can't, that you, you know, your bank accounts are frozen, you haven't got access to them. Um, I just think it's crazy because, you know, we also get um, that you've been um, injured. You've been shot in the leg. And could the woman send $5,000 for your medical care? No. So I was wounded in Afghanistan myself twice, and I'm fully covered by the military. I have full medical they have medics, doctors, hospitals. The, the, the military is going to take care of me. I don't need – no military man needs money for, um, for any medical, period. And um, I know the military take care of your family, too. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah they take care of your family, too. So. Yeah. Uh, so and then not- I got told you could get in trouble for video calls. So, no, that's not true. Now, depends on what you're asking, like, when I'm in Afghanistan, we had a set area, a room that had computers and, and webcams that you could talk to your family and stuff like that. That's all perfectly fine. Um, when it's it's uh, when you have a job that maybe entails that you're like like in an operation center somewhere that's classified as secret or, or um, you know for for you know those use of only people like that should be seen that type of stuff. Yeah, you, you probably shouldn't be webcamming when you're in a room full of like information. Um, but that's why we have designated M- what we call MWR sites, uh, morale, welfare, recreation sites that you can go and talk on these computers and stuff. So That's very strange because I was going to say to you that one thing that I know the military on both sides of the pond are very, very um, interested in is morale. You know, they're not going to take you out anyway and absolutely cut you off from your family because, yeah. you know... the the morale of the people that are working for them is very important because if you if you depressed and you can't do things then you're not going to do, really do do your job yeah mm-hmm. you know so you need to another thing this is one of my favorites i have to say um i can't tell you where i am i can't video chat you because i'm on a secret mission so the only dudes that <clears throat> should be saying that they're on a secret mission are special forces guys. And they're not going to be on Instagram contacting women. I, I tell you right now, just the A type personality, the, the type of people that are in those special operations groups, they're not ones to, they're very humble. They're not ones to brag about, Oh, I'm special forces. I yeah. doing yeah. missions. Like these, these guys are straight professionals. They're not going to go off and tell people that this is what they do. Uh, and, and then jeopardize them and their and their mission. So um, th- those guys that are special forces and, and Navy SEALs and all that stuff, they're very humble individuals, and they're not going to jeopardize that stuff. One more question before I – because I keep thinking of things. One more question. Another thing that I like to combat when, when they send us them, I do like to receive them, though, is you sending a copy of your ID card. Yeah. So you never met. I, so I'm pretty good at Photoshop as well, just because I did it in college or, or in high school and stuff like that. And I could see some of these pictures of people that have Photoshopped ID cards, um, and they're poorly Photoshopped. Like, oh. yeah, you could tell it just doesn't look real. You could tell the overlap, the, the blurriness. Um, it just doesn't fit the shadowing. Like, you know, and I'm and I'm not a and I'm not a genius uh, graphic designer or anything like that. But I mean, you could look at these things and tell they're fake. Um, I like the ones with the big smiley faces on. You've got an ID card. I mean, I was in the Navy, so I had an ID card, and it was awful. It really was. But, you know, you get them with a sort of like in a bar somewhere with a big smiley face on, and yeah. they just the incredible. I mean, I, from our side of things, um, an ID card is a classified document. So, yeah. therefore, you can't really take a picture of it and send it to somebody. Yeah, they should. Who the best way to determine, like I said, uh, individuals is, is like this video call. You could see my yeah. map and you could see where I'm and, at, not picture. And a video call is not two seconds with bad reception. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. You Pick- know, it, it's a proper call. Too much. 
you know, to, if you can't talk to somebody for 10 or 15 minutes, um, you know, you, well, I said earlier, um, oh, it was him. I saw him move, but it was a bad reception. So we only got two or three seconds. Um, and it just doesn't work for yeah. me, you know. Um, it it never happens. I can categorically say that, that it, it absolutely would never happen. Yeah. So thank you, Sean. Thank you for your time. I, I apologize for my inane questions, but believe me, <laughs> to me, they're not because we can use them. Yeah. And I do tend to ask people the same because, you know, it might be that somebody's using you, might be somebody's using somebody else you've already talked to. But if you give the answers to those questions, they mean a lot more to the person that I'm giving them to. Yeah. You know? So they might be stupid questions, but they're the ones that we're here. Yeah, no, yeah, they're good questions. Well, it clears everything up, doesn't it? Because, yeah. you know, if it comes from you, um, then then it's the truth. So thank you very much. Of course. And if we can help, um, we used to be able to help a lot more than we can. And I'm still working on better, better contact than than we've actually got, but I can't say too much because I don't want to upset him. Um, because you know, what we've got is what we've got at the moment. Um, but we've got our little secret weapon, which I quite like. Um, so yeah, so thank you very much, Sean. And if we can help you, you know, send the fakes to us and we'll get rid of them. Ladies, if you get any fakes of Sean, if you see them on Facebook or Instagram, I'm sorry, we can't do anything. Oh, TikTok, I hate. It is the most inane place with people doing sort of like this. I don't know why. Um, but yeah, sadly, I can't do anything about... And, and Oh, I must tell you one, Sean. Did you know that you were on Grindr? Yeah, I heard Grindr, Tinder. I actually had a gay friend contact me, like, nearby. And he was like, hey, man, you're on Grindr. Like, he just jokingly showed me, so... Uh, yeah. yeah, it's funny. I'm, all, I'm on all social media platforms, apparently, so... Well, do you know, I used to think that gay, you know, the, I used to think there used to be some sort of thing as a gaydar, you know, and, and you know, they used to be able to, because you can really see what, whether people are gay or not. And yeah. some of the ones on Grindr, you can just see they're not gay. Yeah, yeah. You know, but yeah, so I just wanted you to know that you are, you know, if, if <laughs> wife doesn't know this little secret about you, you're on Grindr. <laughs> So anyway, thank you. Thank you very much, sweetheart. It's really good talking to you. And if ever we can help you, just, just come to us. I will. Thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you, everybody, for watching. And I will say good night. And, you know, we share this. It goes on Facebook. It goes on our Google site. It goes on YouTube. So whilst we, you know, we only have a few on, not too bad, we only have a few on a night. We do get a few thousand to see it after that. So it does, and we, you know, we use it forever. So thank you very much, Sean, and good night. Well, it is good night here because it's like, yeah, I'm good. <laughs> and I've got me gin and tonic. So everybody that knows me <laughs> does know that I have to have a gin and tonic on a night because it's, you know, yeah. Just so good night, everybody. Good night, Sean. Bye.